All right, fig lovers, this is Ross, the fig boss. In today's video, I'm gonna answer a really common question that I've been getting a lot recently. This is gonna help out a lot of people. So the question is going something like this. Hey Ross, my fig tree is finally fruiting, but it's at the end of the season and I need the figs to form earlier in the season because they're not gonna ripen in time. They're definitely not gonna ripen in time if they're forming now because figs need about 90 days for them to ripen from the time they're a little pea-sized fruit on the tree. So by the time you notice them, they probably need 80 or 90 days uh, before they'll ripen. Now, fast forward 90 days from today, we're well past my first frost. Um, three months is a, is a long time. So you really want these trees to produce fruit earlier. Now, some people might think, well, if I just choose an earlier variety, that will fix the problem. Now, it can fix the problem in terms of when they ripen, but generally all the mid-season varieties, the late varieties, all the varieties generally produce fruit at the same time. It's just a matter of how long they take to ripen on the tree. Some will take 60 days from when they're a small pea-sized fig. Others will take 90 days. Others, others will take 120 days. So that determines when exactly they're gonna ripen in the length of your season. But they're all forming at the beginning of my year. Maybe your tree is really unhealthy and that's why it's just now producing fruit. Maybe it got its act together late in the season. It wasn't established. Maybe it's just now getting the sunlight that it needs. But generally everybody is gonna have the same problem, which is your tree is just not pruned properly. We also have to protect it during the winter if the winter is pruning it for us. So anyone in zone eight or below has to go through some form of winter protection for at least one growing season and that's it. Once we go through that one growing season, we prune it properly for one year, we protect it from the cold, it is going to behave properly going forward. It's going to fruit, it's going to slow down its growth, and you're gonna have a tree that produces fruit at a normal time of the year. So the way we prune it is very simple. We either we don't prune it at all, at all which is ideal, or we come in here and we make thinning cuts, not heading cuts. So if you can imagine this branch right here as an example, the top third of the buds on this particular tree is where all the fruiting, the, fruit, the fruiting buds are. If I remove all these fruiting buds, like if I were to remove all the flower buds on a peach, a cherry tree, if I were to remove all the spurs on an apple or a pear, well then it's not gonna flower and it's not gonna then fruit. It's kind of the same thing with figs, except people don't think of them like this in terms of their fruiting wood. Uh, but it's an easy way to understand it. The cold prunes the trees for us, so there's no difference between our pruning shears and the cold. So very simply, all we have to do is preserve the top third of our branches. So we need to go through some kind of winter protection method. What I like to do is take these branches, bring them all the way down to the ground, stake them to the ground. If they're too big like this, come in here to the base, prune it all the way at the base and take it out. And instead, come in here and find something that's a bit smaller and bend that over to the ground. And that can become the new trunk of your tree, which is ideally what you would want. So see that in there? We got a branch like here that's a much thinner, much smaller, instead of these other ones here that are much thicker and obviously taller, that's what you wanna bend down and protect and cut out the rest. And make sure you make your cuts as low as possible. The same thing over here, if we were to do, instead of uh, pruning on this tree, and we wanted to do some kind of pruning cut, we have to do what's called thinning cuts. We don't wanna do any heading of the branches back. So we don't wanna bring this branch back by a third, as we mentioned. We wanna preserve as many of these as we can, but if we needed to do some pruning and reduce the overall height of the tree, look how high that branch is up there. So I'm gonna take that branch, follow it all the way down as low as possible, I'm gonna come in there at the base, and I'm gonna cut that out during the winter time. And that's all you have to do. There's, not, there's really nothing else in terms of pruning. That's gonna keep the tree smaller because you're taking out the longer and bigger scaffold. The new ones come up in its place and you just keep recycling that process. So that's how you prune them. You generally just don't touch them with a pruning, uh, pruning shears. You use a saw and come in at the base of all of your trees and you use a saw and cut out as low as possible, and that's generally it. If you can do that, successfully prune it, 
prune it properly and also protect it during the winter time, your tree's gonna have the right hormones the next year and it's gonna be much more likely to fruit. If it doesn't fruit that year, what you will notice at least is that it grows a lot slower. And the following year, if you can protect it once again and it gets through the winter time again without any, with very minimal damage, it will fruit. So thank you guys here for watching this one. Please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. You can check out my blog and other videos, by the way, for advice on how to protect this during the winter, for advice on pruning the trees if you want more in-depth information. See you for the next one, guys. Take care.